Welcome back, everybody, to Game Over Cancer. My name is Jal Bagel, and up next is Final Fantasy Worlds Collide Randomizer, a standard race settings seed. Uh, Retrofile was giving us some, some little insight on this completely untested seed, so we'll see how this goes. Retro, how about you? Oh, actually, really quick, before <laughs> we get started, um, a donation in from Hepawana. Uh, for those 25 cents per death. Here's 25 cents per death, per death in my Love 3 run. It's always worth it to put cancer in its place. Thank you for having me, and especially thank you to all involved for putting on this event for such a great cause. Have a wanna thank you so much for the $54.25 and your amazing Love 3 speed run. That was a blast to watch. All right, Retro, do you wanna take it away? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, help, hello everyone. Happy Saturday evening here for Game Over Cancer Spring 2023. I'm Retrofile TV. Retro's fine. Uh, you can see a, a bunch of people in chat kind of hanging out here, just uh, having a good old time. I promise that this is gonna be both a cozy and hype run at the same time. Uh, this is Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. This is a one of the two major randomizers for this game that's out there. Uh, this one is very similar to like Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise, and the big shtick about it and why it's it's called Worlds Collide is there's two different worlds in the, the game, and you have the ability to flip-flop between them on demand. You have access to both airships. It's effectively an open world, but there's also some character gating. There's a lot here. There's a lot, a lot of meat on the bone, and I'm going to try to talk about what I'm doing throughout the seed. One little heads up is that the estimate for this you'll see is 3 hours and 15 minutes. I got an hour 39 minute PB today, <laughs> like while well, during practice, so it, it's, it can be a wild range of things can happen. I could die during the final climb and lose 20 minutes. Uh, we could have a hard time getting a foothold, uh, but these are the standard race settings that we're currently using. Uh, it's called the Ultros League. The, the Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide community is extremely active uh, with hosting events. They have tournaments of the month, seeds of the week. They have multiple events going on. There's always stuff happening with it. Uh, so I'm just big shouts to them, FF6, worldscollide.com. Go there yourself, take a look at it. Uh, so what does what the standard race settings look like? The objectives here, uh, for us, we're going to beat the final boss, and that's Kefka. And we need to get six characters, we start with three, and we need to find nine espers, referred to as magicite. Those are the things that teach you uh, spells and such, you'll see as we go. And I'll try to point things out as we go. Uh, and yeah, there's a whole slew of flags that this this game can do. It's it's a really really comprehensive randomizer. There's a lot, and I I couldn't even spend all the time to go through all of this. But just trust me, it's pretty well balanced, and we're gonna dig into it. But all right, let's uh, let's start that countdown then, shall we? And see what journey awaits, and we'll we'll kind of go from there. But uh, here we go. In three, two, one, worlds collide. All right, so we start on the airship. At this point, we start with Murder Child. That's Lady Gallagher. You see her in chat right now. Arfi, that's our Furious Gaming, and Specchio as Mog right now. Let's see what they currently have. Oh, look at this. Mog has Magitech. <laughs> we have Natural Magic on Arfi with Runic, and uh, also Lady Gallagher can throw money. GP Rain. So what we're going to do first is we're going to just do a bunch of uh, a bunch of raiding of chests. At this point, we're looking for gear and uh, what we can possibly do. So we have a, a couple places we're going to go to. All this, like, there's there's a lot of things that have been randomized. Random encounters have been randomized. Chess contents. Monsters in a box have been randomized. What people can equip sometimes is randomized as well. The, the relics that they can have. Uh, what the espers teach, the bonuses, there's so much. So basically at this point, the first part here is we're just trying to get a foothold. We're trying to find treasure and gear. Uh, I look specifically like for offense or any kind of defensive things that we can get, uh, we're hoping for it. But kick back, relax, and enjoy. There's you know great, great tunes here to, to, to dig into, and <laughs> a lot of funny things that can happen with this. The good thing is, since we start with Mog, we can actually trigger one of the events. That also leads me into talking about character gating. Uh, if you know anything about Final Fantasy VI, and if you don't, it's okay. That's Lone Wolf right there. Having Mog triggers that. Each character has a set of checks, and what are checks? Checks can possibly lead to additional characters. They can lead to uh, Magicite, Espers, you know, that's, that's progression. Uh, or we can get items, and those are basically referred to as dead checks, even though they're powerful items. Shops are also randomized. Uh, but anyway, that lone wolf that we saw there, that, that thief that was in the uh, the Narsh storehouse that was there, he's one of Mog's checks, and we can chase him down and see what we can get from him. I think I'll do that, just out of the gate here. 
So we're looking at the shops. We're looking to see what we can, what we can find. Uh, let's see. We'll buy that for later just in case we have someone that has tools. Buy some of those. Some of these. <laughs> those, those remedies are a bit pricey right now. I'll buy five of those just so we have it. We have no one that has throw, so I'm not going to worry about buying those edges. Uh, commands are all kind of mixed up. Realm is usually a painter, and uh, her namesake, uh, Lady Galaga, is a Bob Ross certified instructor and a fantastic painter. So, very much the namesake. Okay, I want those earrings. Uh, magic is really busted in Final Fantasy VI. It does a lot of damage. And I don't really have anything I can sell yet that's going to be worth getting yet, so we'll kind of hold on to that. But earrings increase magic damage. And Murder Child, <laughs> as she's affectionately referred to, uh, Realm, or Lady Galaga in this regard, has very high magic and does lots and lots and lots and lots of damage, and it's wonderful. Uh, one thing I should note is that we have the Moogle Charm, and the Moogle Charm disables all random encounters, and we have three of them, and everyone can equip them. In the vanilla game, uh, you only get one, and you get it pretty late in the game, and only Mog uh, can equip it. And it looks like there was a possible character peeking out in the, the cave up top up there. I didn't see who that was, but that's okay. We don't have Umaro anyway. Umaro is our Yeti friend that hopefully will, will make an appearance. He has a penchant of showing up whenever I do marathon runs. Uh, I've run this a couple of times in marathons now, and every one of them have been a, a glorious train wreck in one way or another. Everything goes well in practice. That's how it always goes. And this game has a lot to kind of think about and route and, and dig into, and I will try to do the best I can. Hey, look! Sets are standing here at Kefka at Narsh. Uh, I don't know if we're ready to dry that. Maybe we, we do a Hail Mary and see what we can do. Looks like this will possibly be a item or an Esper. Yeah, we have a, we have a lot. <laughs> we have a, there's a lot to this game, a lot. Oh, uh, you'll never get this ice shield. Well, we could get it later, but let's see what this uh, this friend is holding for us. What do we get? We get a jam. That's what we get. Don't worry, Lone Wolf's okay, folks. We'll see him later, possibly. We got our first Esper, and one thing I should point out here is that this game has a built-in tracker right here. You can check your progress. You can see exactly what you got. You can see uh, you can see the the checks that are here. It's great. It's awesome. All right, let's look real fast. Let's see, Murder Child has 54 magic power. Yeah, she's way far and away above. So let's see what we got. Whirlwind and Remedy, but not anything fancy. That's not the best Esper to start with. Oh boy. Well, we're starting with uh, <laughs> not the best. Let's let's peek this. Even if it goes terribly, let's peek and see what monster uh, we have to face. That Kef got Narsh. Am I prepared? No, I'm not. We're doing this complete cold. We're gonna bring Murder Child and Mog with us. That's Lady Galaga and Specchio. I'm gonna hope that Magitek can carry. Uh, Magitek is what you start with in the game initially. Uh, when you're riding the, like, the robot mech things, you'll see them uh, as we go. Has Fire Beam, Bolt Beam, Ice Beam, and Heal Force. However, if we complete a check later on, if we find Celis, uh, we can complete something called the Magitek Factory and uh, unlock all of the abilities of Magitek, including some pretty gnarly things. I think I'm gonna equip some stuff here. I don't think we really have anything to equip, so I think we're just gonna go full send, completely unprepared. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try to do the fast strat here. At level three, no less, with progression. Uh, I guess I should talk about that too. Oh, we didn't, oh, always had it. <laughs> uh, progression is interesting in this game, where Every enemy goes up by three levels whenever we find a new character or get a new Magisite. Okay, Murder Child's only doing 22 damage by swinging her brush around. So I think Specchio's gonna be our main damage dealer here. Ow, don't do that. That's not nice. Down to 70 health already. She can throw money at the problem to hopefully make it go away. We're hoping for a very, very weak enemy, whatever it's gonna be here on this side. Gonna heal up quick. All right, so who is Kafka? Uh, Dadaluma, what's up, Dad? Throw money at you. <laughs> not to, does not do a ton, but that's okay. Magitek will put in some work. Just keep throwing money at the problem until it goes away. 
Dad's all right. He's he's not too bad to run into. So this might be a hail mary, but it's okay. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna be burning some money to do this, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll try to work toward it. Usually find this fellow in Zozo in the main game. I don't think I have any rods I can crack at this point. That's an item you can use. So this will be slow, but we'll get through it. Oh, he's got friends. Well, that complicates things slightly. You typically don't see this when you fight him normally. <laughs> Don't heal yourself. See, now this is this is the moments right now. Like, we're doing. They just triple potion. <laughs> I feel like basically undid multiple turns of damage. What a jerk. And this is why you don't go fight bosses at level three. But Donaluma is possible to beat. He is. We're gonna heal up Mog, which is nice. I don't have any rods, do I? No, I don't. Hooray, we threw enough quarters at them and they died. <laughs> hey, speaking of money and stuff and throwing money out there, folks, be sure to donate uh, to the Canadian Cancer Society here. A game over cancer, exclamation point D for that donate link. Go check that out. We're trying to creep toward that uh, that 4,000 milestone. Slow and steady, friends. Not a little, can't do much. There's your crack. Boom. Hey, look at that. Progression. And we get ourselves a, uh, a character. We have, found, we have found Setzer. Let's see what goodies he's got for us here, too. So hey, we don't have to come back up here anymore. We don't have to hike up the mountain in the world of balance. Uh, so Setzer is Pole's voice, and he's got sword tech. Ooh, sword tech in Worlds Collide is real good. Real good. That's something very nice to find. Uh, we definitely want to push that. I'm going to go save before we do this. We're going to do one other check while we're here. Again, we're going to do big dumb strats here. Actually, you know what? We'll come back for that. We can come back for that. I'm done doing big dumb strats for now. <laughs> we got other checks and stuff we can do, other looting we can do. We didn't even go elsewhere. Now that I think about it, we didn't go anywhere else. So let's go do that, shall we? We're gonna go to the Returner's Hideout, which is over this away. If you noticed real quick there, the, the map looked a little different. It's kind of opaque and blue, and uh, the marker of where we are is white. That, my friends, is an accessibility hack created by a, a good friend of ours, Osteoclave, that was actually added into the randomizer by the World Collide community, and uh, was very thankful for that. I was actually, uh, the little story behind that is I was actually playing Worlds Collide and I had a hard time reading the map. Uh, I'm legally blind for those that don't know, and uh, dreadfully colorblind as well, <laughs> so kind of a weird thing to kind of deal with, and I could not see Pardon, pardon me, sir, please. Uh, <laughs> it's unable to see the, the, the little marker on the map. And Osteoclave basically whipped up a and like an action replay code for it and identified what palette values to change out and lo and behold, became super, super handy. And uh, it's been adopted since and everybody loves it. So big shouts to Osteoclave. Thank you for what you do, friend. Really appreciate it. Actually, we're gonna need more than those. We'll just get the full 10 sleeping bags. Yeah, one of the most amazing moments I've had where I asked for an accessibility hack or I, I was uh, lamenting the fact that I can't read the map and then someone comes along and comes up with a, a solution instantly. I, I, I could have cried. Because <laughs> back then accessibility was not a thing for games. Something that uh, you maybe take for granted while playing games and such. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, tough, it's a tough thing out there. All right, what's next? Let's do, let's do South Figaro looting, shall we? Mind if I jump in with a donation real quick? Absolutely, go right ahead, my friend. We've got a $10 donation from Fongers. Fongers, thank you so much Yo, for that Fongers. donation. 
guys, keep it up. We are getting even closer to that $4,000 goal. Reminder that every donation goes uh, towards the Canadian Cancer Society, every little bit of it. And there are still amazing incentives that you can donate towards for tomorrow, right? We continue this marathon tomorrow even too. We have the Lufia uh, and the Fortress of Doom uh, hero name bid war, as well as the Blade Master Zero category bid war. So every time you guys donate, be sure to put your donations towards those awesome incentives. Thanks so much, Foggers. Thank you very, very much. I do appreciate that. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's see. Uh, we're going to give Pole's voice pod bracelets. Google Charm. I give him the ribbon. Ribbon protects against all status effects. I'm, I'm right now. I'm just kind of just kind of shilling with things that we have at the moment. It's fine. Everything is fine. We don't really have a lot of gear otherwise. That thunder shield's kind of nice. Red jacket. That's some fire protection. Uh, apparently we swapped out Murder Child's uh, brush for a, a knife that can instant kill, because that's more appropriate. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's move, continue on. We're, we're currently looting and pillaging uh, South Figaro. And this is kind of the main way right now that we're trying to find gear. Um, I did see that the... I, I kind of made a noise during the donation. I was looking and I found an offering for sale at the uh, the relic shop their offering allows you to attack four times uh in one turn with a single weapon uh however it's extremely expensive presently so uh, we may come back for that later if i find certain things that may be important for us uh i will make sure to point them out when we go uh, let's go get the meme barrel i never go all the way over here and sometimes there's good things kind of peeking out other times it's garbage let's see what we get we got the thief glove. Someone had committed a crime and tried to dispose of their gloves. We have found... <laughs> we found evidence. We have, we have tampered with a crime, my goodness. Uh, no one has steel, so it's not gonna do much for us. Alright, what do we got? Nothing good there. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Fire rod could be good. We do have some rods. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off for now, but fire rods, rods are good. I was mentioning about cracking rods earlier. That's kind of pricey right now. Hey, Genji armor in a box. You love to see it. Cracking rods, what does that mean? Well, rods cast the level two spell of their element. So fire two, bolt two, ice two. Uh, they they pierce through reflect. They do they pierce. Um what else do they pierce? They pierce magic defense. They also roll extremely high. Uh, so they're pretty busted and they're pretty good for, for taking care of things early on or even later in the game, especially since we have Murder Child in the crew, uh, Lady Galaga, Realm, etc., etc. Uh, that can do some work. I don't know why th this couple has an old basement or an old like jail in their basement. Very strange. Right, we're going through, just kind of looting the basement. Uh, I'm trying to think where we'll go next. We have Sai in our crew right now. We can go do a couple of checks for him pretty quick. Got Realm. We could do Esper Mountain. Again, that's that character gating. As you get, as you unlock characters, you don't need to have them in your party to complete their associated checks. But uh, I'm running a tracker you guys can't see right now off of it, in the distance. Um, there is a flag that you can do open world, um, which is basically, no, there's nothing character gated if you're just learning the game, but, uh, again, ra these race settings are character gated. Looks like we also got a raid. Welcome in, everybody. Kick back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to Game Over Cancer, Spring 2023. This is Final Fantasy VI, World's Clod, Randomizer. It's a good old time. We're currently looting and pillaging, trying to get some gear, trying to get that, that foothold. While you're pillaging, I got a couple more donations I could read off. By all means, please do. <laughs> all right, we got $25 from Skunky48 saying, neat. It is neat, isn't it? And then also another $15 from Psychic Shebang saying, keep on crushing it, Retro. May all of your dice roll true, and may the fire chicken keep his distance. Here's to you crushing Kefka like we hope to crush cancer. Thank you so much for those donations. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank you so much, guys. I have, I mean, I guess, I hope 
I get answered what the fire chicken is eventually. Yeah, uh, if we run into it, I will definitely call out Polo Fuego. <laughs> Trust me, we'll, we'll get there. All right, uh, let's um, yeah, let's uh, let's go peek. We're gonna go over to the Doma Castle and see what's going on over there. We have Cyan also, and our crew. Real quick, uh, Strizer wanted me to let you know that we are capturing your tracker. If you are using it, doesn't look like it's updating. If it was supposed to be automatic. Oh, fantastic! Let me let me go do that. I didn't realize that it was being it was being captured. Should we have be good. The technology here. Yeah, should be should be good. I wasn't aware that it was being captured. I was like, oh, well, it should be okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks All like right. it's going good now. Thank you. Very good. Thanks. All right, so this is going to be either an item or magicite that we're going to get here. And the general attacking Doma is Kefka. Okay, pack it in, folks. We're about to wrap this seat up real early. No, I'm joking. Kidding. I don't think Murder Child has anything that's worth it. Nope, there's nothing there. Okay, so Sword Tech, it's, it's amazing. It goes real fast in this one. Unlike the, the vanilla game. Oh, that poison's gonna hurt a little bit. Not a fan of that. Now, normally in the vanilla game, Setzer is a is a airship piloting uh, gambler with slots. Ooh, that's some big damage right there. We may have to runic with uh, with Cyan, which will basically prevent that magic from uh, attacking us. We definitely want him have everybody alive uh, as best as we can so they can gain some experience. And experience is multiplied, which reduces uh, how long it takes to grind. There's Runic, there we go. Beautiful. You love to see it, so it doesn't hurt nobody. And Runic again, see what Kefka does. See, this is where the rods would probably come in handy. I know we have some. So maybe we, maybe we just try cracking one, but I don't know, this is a pretty free fight, so I'm not too worried about it. And there goes Kefka. Alright, we're done here. Done. Fantastic. We have saved Doma. And let's see if we get ourselves an item, which potentially could be a dead check, or if we get a Magicite. So Murder Child could actually learn something to murder with. We get a gem box. Dead check is dead. Sweet. Love it. <laughs> Marathon lock is wonderful. Uh, but gem box, what is that? Uh, gem box is a relic, which we can then attach onto somebody. And that gives us X magic. Let's us cast two spells in the, in the within one turn, which is pretty fun. Uh, but not going to do us much if we don't have any spells to cast, unfortunately. I think we're going to book it over to Esper Mountain. Uh, I think we'll go raid uh, Thamasa. That's the area over here. And we'll see. The mass is actually pretty good. There's a couple of uh, things we can grab outside, and a couple of uh, shops and stuff we can check. So we're gonna go do that. Maybe we'll find something, something good, possibly. So far, not so much. All right, let's see what we have here. We have dragoon boots. We got ribbon. Nothing really good. Okay, <clears throat> we already have a pair of dragoon boots. What does that do? Changes fighting to jump. You turn into Kane from Final Fantasy IV. We have Ice Shield for sale here. I don't have any, any elixirs I can just kind of just pop off at this point. I'm not going to be able to get up enough for that. That's fine. I'm going to hold off for now, but we'll keep that in mind. Having elemental protection in this game is huge for the record. Because again, magic is totally busted. So if you're able to prevent some of that totally busted stuff from coming your way, very important. Found a fanciful hat in a barrel. That's nice. How about this one? Found an elixir. I was looking to sell one of those earlier. And an X-Potion. All right, we're going to go to the, the local uh, mountain, I guess. You know, everyone has one, right? Uh, but we're going to go inside there and uh, see what's li what lies beneath. Uh, just one of Realm's checks that we can do pretty close by. And maybe we'll do some stuff for, for Setzer. We already got all of, uh, almost all of Mog's checks done. There's one left in Narsh I can go back to then, but this one's pretty quick to do. 
And also we have a chance of peeking to see what this is going to be. You'll see uh, some character kind of pop their head out here. Let's see what they got. That is a ghost. So if it's a ghost, an imp, a, ch uh, a soldier, or a merchant, it'll be an item or a magicite. So this is not a character check. Cheddar Nook, where do you hide your cheese, friends? In the Cheddar Nook. Uh, so, we don't hit the girl. This is a possessed painting, by the way. Uh, just saying that. It will turn into a demon. We do damage to the demon. Apparently, his charms pulled pulls voice, so any melee attacks, uh, he will take the, the brunt of. I'm gonna runic. And we're gonna throw money at the problem. Oh, apparently Pole's voice also attacks. That's cute. Because he's charmed. Uh, Fire is putting in some good work here. Yeah, Runic coming through. Thanks, Arfi. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, we didn't Runic that one. <laughs> Lady Galaga taking a bolt to the face there. Becky putting in some good damage. We're doing quad digits already, which is nice. There we go. Thank you so much. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to hit... Mm, this is not good. So, we're going to attack the girl. Probably twice. And she retorts with things that are not good, like charm. Oh, you can't charm murder child. <laughs> she cannot be stopped. She's a little tiny Terminator. Now we just need to get her. I, I promise she'll start slapping as soon as we get some some. Oh, that's not good. Bubbles are bad. Oof. <laughs> uh, many ouch. Not a fan. Unfortunately, you can't runic that. Uh, we have Phoenix Downs, yes? I would like people to get experience, if at all possible. Alright, please, Cheddar Nook. You can die here, or if you can just take a nap for this fight, that's fine. Thank you, crack boom, hooray, awesome. Marathon luck was, re was, re was rearing its ugly head. But we, we were able to get rid of it. It's fantastic. Great. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. 5,000 experience. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Okay. So what do we get for our troubles? We got ourselves a new magicite. Please have attack magic on here this time. That would be fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Fire quick. All black magic all the time. Murder Child's gonna have some tools to work with, and we have two people with red jackets. Kinda makes me wanna go get that ice shield. And if we could. So, we're gonna go take a leisurely stroll back. And I think we're gonna probably go pick that up. I don't know, maybe we should find fire fire shields for sale. We have Merton. Uh, so what is Merton? Uh, it's not, uh, it's, he wasn't a character on, on the Honeymooners, I, that's for sure. But uh, he, Merton is actually a mistranslation by our, our good friend, uh, Ted Woolsey. Uh, it's supposed to be Meltdown, but it came out Merton. All right, what are we doing? Let's see. Uh, let's go to World of Ruin real fast. Actually, no, I take that back. We're going to go do the, the, the Moogle Defense at Narsh. That's the move. We're going to go finish that up quick. I got one quick donation for you. By all means, go ahead. All right, we got $5 from Skunky48 saying bonus for the Cheddar Nook joke. Hooray! <laughs> Keep those coming. Listen, if, if you need if you need Retro to make more corny jokes, oh God. To donate more, by all means. I, I have plenty of them, trust me. Perfect. We, we, we will keep going, I, I promise. Uh, I'll share one that we shared earlier today. It's uh, how, much, how much does a pirate buy uh, their corn for? A buccaneer. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, very good. All right, anyway, let's go do uh, Moogle Defense real fast, uh, which is, uh, this is the part that in the normal game, uh, Locke goes to save uh, Terra. 
or Tina, as she's referred to as in the Japanese version. But uh, we're just gonna go down there and we're gonna go apparently try to save Edgar. That is a character check, my friend. So our reward for this will be Edgar. Uh, Murder Child getting Merton should be real nice. That's what we want, though. But we need some protection. We got two red jackets. We have a thunder shield. Uh, Merton uh, is both fire and wind elemental. If you negate one of them, uh, you negate all of them. And th and uh, thunder negates wind, to my knowledge. The thunder shield. Uh, red jacket negates fire. And if we had an ice shield, it would negate the fire. We will see. Anyway, uh, well, let's um, let's just stand in the middle here for a little while. Kind of do our thing. <laughs> Similar to what we did with uh, Kefkat, uh, Kefkat Narsh. As we stand here and we kind of wait uh, for the best time to go strike. We can kind of walk past some of these. As they're moving there, like that. There we go, perfect. Don't have to fight nobody. Oh my... <laughs> So, so who is attacking Narsh? A bunch of piranhas. This is a timed fight. This is the perfect time for donations if we have any that are looming right now. Also, apparently Pole's voice has Quadraslice. Or Quadraslam, so that's kind of fun. Overkill, but we're just killing time here in the meantime. Again, reminder folks, if you want to check this out yourself, ff6worldscollide.com. Roll yourself a seed and have yourself a good time. Plenty of resources out there. Highly, uh, definitely recommend go checking out the Discord, getting involved in the community. If you like this game, if, you, if this is one of your favorite, this is actually my favorite game of all time. And this is a fantastic randomizer I've sank a, a lot of time into. Um, y you will enjoy this, I promise. It is a lot of fun to revisit the game in, in a more expedient way. And kind of build your team up from nothing into potential gods. <laughs> uh, what, you know, wishful thinking, we're hoping. All right, let's kill this piranha and see if enough time has passed and if Rizapas uh, shows up. He is here. All right, let's go ahead and slap him a couple of times. Uh, also, he doesn't apparently like fire very much. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we don't have any any fire magic presently. That's okay. We're just trying to kill him before he gets off. Uh, I believe he has El Nino or Aqua Rake or something really bad that we don't want to have happen. Ice kind of is not great, but that's okay. I would like to be doing a little more damage presently. Looks like Speck is kind of carrying this seed for now. There we go, crack boom, hooray, we're done. We get Edgar. We'll see what he's got in his pocket. We may swap out Arfi, since uh, Runic is... It's useful, but not super useful. I'd like to do some more damage, if at all possible. That might be the move. Uh, speaking of doing damage, I think Murder Child might be online here momentarily. All right, so what do we have here? Very nice color palette. I did randomize the color. He's got Blitz. Uh, that is very useful, so I think we're going to say toodles and goodbye to our good friend, our Furious Gaming. And... Uh, Move on, and who do we have? We have Nar. That is Narthex. He is a, a fantastic drummer here on Twitch. Uh, he drums along. He does he does impromptu uh, video game drum covers. I believe it, every Wednesday or so, or Wednesday or Thursday. But fantastically popular. Hey, guess what? We kicked out the person that had the Moogle charm. So that's fun. <laughs> All right, now we're just flexing. Oh yeah, remember Murder Child had that knife that insta-kills? Yeah, apparently Pole's voice has one too, or something. They both do. Uh, we'll move on. We're, so we're done with Narsh now. Uh, World of Balance Narsh. We're also going to equip our... Moogle Charm back up. To prevent the... Random encounters. We'll grab a couple of chests along the way. Having Edgar in the front of the party is kind of important as well. Especially for some different uh, things we'll be doing. He's got some fun checks we can do. Might actually go do that. Force armor's pretty nice. That's good uh, magic reduction. So I gotta find it funny though that Blitz is usually his brother, Sabin. Uh, usually has that, but uh, apparently in this seed, it's, uh, you know, the, the King of Figaro has that this time around. So kind of neat. 
We have to go pilfer the gear off of Cyan, and we'll kind of push that forward. I think we're going to go probably World of Ruin now. We haven't switched over, and uh, you guys haven't seen the Worlds Collide bit of it. Uh, you know, the namesake. We're going to drink from a random bucket that a guy's standing near that somehow cures us. I don't know how that works, but that's okay. It's best not to ask questions about the magical Kool-Aid. All right, before we flip over to the other area, we're going to go over here and about this area or so. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, let's actually go ahead and pillage that equipment. This is super handy right here. Unequip those not in your party. Fantastic. Uh, let's give you that. Force armor is going to be pretty good. You're good. World of Ruin, baby! Searching for friends, what a fantastic track. Okay, welcome to South Figaro after the world gets... Uh, Kafkaed. A Minerva! Okay, so that is one of the best armors in the game that we just had. An What?! <laughs> <laughs> Minerva mitigates a lot, and we have to hopefully have someone that can actually uh, do it. And also we found that the, the GG egg, the experience egg, which basically like doubles experience, and if we just park that on somebody, uh, they will level super fast. And 1500 bucks. Uh, we will probably put that on Murder Child, I'm going to guess, and try to level her up as much as possible if we can find, if we can find a uh, Esper that has magic. Plus, hey, Magus hat's pretty good. Speaking of putting magic up, I probably will pick that up. I don't know if the Mystery Veil does that or not, but I'm gonna buy that just in case. Uh, we're getting some kind of marathon luck. I don't know, I'm not sure what kind of luck we're getting, but it's, it's, it's nice. Let's find out if I'm getting good marathon luck. Can anybody equip the Minerva? Uh, so why was I gushing so much about this? Because it basically mitigates a lot of, well, almost all of the uh, elements. Holy crap. <laughs> Specchio Pole's voice can wear that. Uh, we're going to throw that on Specchio. He's got that red jacket, but I'd like to keep him as protected as possible since he's kind of the one pushing the, the, the damage at the moment. Uh, can anyone else wear the red jacket? Well, yes, of course. Horse armor, Genji armor. All right. We definitely need more protection before we start busting out Murton. We'll probably have to try, try to build toward that. All right, I think I'm gonna try to do Edgar's checks while we're here. You can basically do all three of his pretty much in quick succession. And it begins with trying to recover the sunken Figaro Castle, which is stuck beneath the ground here after the world ended. Oh yeah, by the way, kind of spoiler alerts for some of the story for Final Fantasy VI. I apologize. But, it's kind of the nature of the beast. I'm gonna go get some treasure chests that are far out of the way, and I'm gonna hope for elemental protection. I'm trying to get Murton online. Uh... It sounds like a weird ISP. I'm trying to get Murton online for our crew because that'll start shredding pretty quickly. Uh, unfortunately, so Murton hits everything, including your party. And with the amount of damage that Murder Child can do, um, it would not be good, <laughs> to say the least. All right, so we're gonna we get our first glance. Uh, we have found uh, Edgar's brother. That's Sabin. Now remember, friends, our goal here is to find six characters minimum to get into Final Kefka. So I think that'll that'll more than do it. However, there is another mechanic at play. In the race settings, there's something called KT skip, and that allows you to skip the first boss and a lot of like kind of the running through of the final dungeon if you get nine characters or 12 espers it's kind of a little fail safe if, if your luck skews one way or another or you can kind of route toward that also uh, we'll see how that pans out we'll see where the seed takes us also i love how all these people are gasping for air because they're stuck underneath the uh the sand and yet the old guy that's kind of hanging out in that, that one hallway he's perfectly fine and i don't know why We're gonna go way out of the way here. I usually don't get this one, but again, I'm 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 kind of desperate and searching. 
true knight, not worth it, unfortunately. All right, so the, the engine that powers the Figaro Castle is currently seized by some sort of monster. Uh, in the vanilla game, it's a bunch of tentacles. In this one, I have no idea what it's going to be. So we'll find out together, shall we? Oh, we did pick up a Thunder Shield. Very nice. Very nice. Like that elemental protection. See, look, all the creepy crawlies in the engines. Not, not good. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> if you hear those timpanies kick in, it's not good. It's not good. This is this is the marathon lock I expect to see. Crap. <laughs> uh, Goddess is, is not great. If I'm being real, especially since Bolt is the only thing we have right now in our pocket. Um. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Well... <laughs> she absorbed Pearl, but we're gonna try Ice Rod. That's gonna hurt. What if we throw money at the problem? Uh, our fire Hadoukens are doing 500. That does a thousand! Okay, throwing money at the problem is not a bad idea, apparently. Also, everyone's going to die in 60 seconds, so we have a time limit, friends. Uh, Ice does 580. She absorbed bolts, so we don't want to do that. We threw money at the problem and it went away. We beat Goddess with the power of money. I don't know how much that cost me, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is our sixth character, Pico de Guile of the Salsa Shack. He's got slots. He's a he's a gambling man. He's a gambling, rambling, fumbling, stumbling, never bumbling. Pico de Guile. We got our six characters, though. We're good. All right, so let's get on out of here. That's one of the three checks we can do for uh, Edgar. And we now basically either want to keep finding characters to get that KT skip for later, or we want to ultimately find a bunch of Magisite and get to that, uh, that what's referred to as six and nine. Six characters, nine espers. Nice. That's what we're hoping for. But we only have like a couple of Vespers, so we got, we got a lot of work to do yet, friends. But in the meantime, while we've been out gallivanting, uh, someone's been sitting on the throne for us. Who is there? Who is on that throne? It's a spooky ghost, and he has Raiden, the Magisite. Quarter and safe, HP plus 100% on level up. Pretty fun. If I do say so myself, and I do. Uh, let's see. You have learned fire and strength. Strength is good for sword tech. And I believe you are our sword tech person, aren't you, Bull's voice? We would really like to find a hyper wrist. Also, we never put the experience egg on anybody. That's a shame. Uh, you know what? We're going to park that on Specchio, I think. We're going to push him for now. Kind of go from there. All right, we have Edgar in the front of our crew here, so we'll get a discount in some of these shops. Elixir's very nice. Cutting uh, prices in half. I'll buy those warp stones. We'll need a couple of those. A couple of green cherries. Gross. Doesn't sound very appetizing. A couple of revivifies. I like to have a couple of tents. I don't use them a bunch, but it's still nice to have. We're going to need a couple of those, and we're out of money. We threw a lot of money at Goddess, apparently totally worth it. No regrets. 
Oh, hey, we found money. How about that? Very handy. We're raiding our own treasury. <laughs> hey, they sell Super Balls here. Sweet. Uh, I'm not going to buy that, though. We're going to let that go for now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, two more checks. All right, we did two checks now. Edgar had... Uh, we, we got to... We got to... The castle out of the ground. We went to the, the throne room, and now we need to go to the ancient castle. So, we're going to go to Kalinjin, which is apparently this giant mechanical castle is able to traverse some sort of subterranean network uh, to go somewhere else. It's, it's, it's very mechanical and technical and fan fantastical. Final fantastical. Uh, we're going to stop here, though. We're going to explore, because apparently something with the stratum is off, and uh, for whatever reason... We have found a jam. I love me some Serpent Trench, but... It's also the, the way to the ancient castle. Uh, we're gonna start peeking some monsters in a box. I would really like to find an offering and not have to pay 65k to do so. So we're looking for Katana Soul. Uh, we're looking for Pugs. Get some more Minervas, maybe. Uh, looking for Gigantos. We'll see what's out there. We're gonna take this quick save point right here. Do that. Very good. And welcome to the ruins of the ancient castle. Long since forgotten, left untouched. Yet, this, there's a monster in this box. Well, Master Pug is not the pug we want. He's a jerk, and I don't really feel like dealing with him, if I'm being honest. Okay, you can run too, friend. So Master Pug, he drops the, the, the Gradius, the Greatest, I don't know, it's a Pearl Enchanted Knife, it's not great. It's, uh, I'm not a big fan of it, but hey, it's fine. All right, we found a little tiny switch there on the steps. That's really important. It opens up the basement. Uh, we found a tincture, gold shield. So let's go see what's hiding the basement. Hey, a hero ring. That's nice. That, that boosts attack and magic damage, which is good. Hey, there's a dragon down here, too, no less. And we have received Shiva. That is progression. It's good. You're three. I dig. I will take that, actually. I, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what the what the dragon is. Our health is kind of low right now, I just realized that. Probably not the best time to take on the Dargan, but we're gonna work with it. Okay, we're slapping for 800 in a turn there with Paul's voice, not bad. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I want everyone to be alive for this, at all possible. I think she has the Thunder Shield. Yeah, that ain't gonna do nothing to her. No, he just, he just woke up. He just woke up. Why would you blast him with plasma, man? That's just being mean. It's a lightning attack that's kinda, kinda rough. Well, Nar might be taking a nap through this fight. Yeah, please, just keep healing her. That's fantastic, Gold Dragon. Also, let me talk about this. This game has eight legendary dragons in it. And I put dragons in the giant quotation marks because, like, half of them, over half of them are, are dinosaurs. That's clearly a brontosaurus. That's not a dragon game. They could have done palette swaps for the cool dragon sprites that they have. But they're like, nah. They're not going to know the difference of that and a dinosaur. Clearly. OK, 
Cannot catch a break, Gnar. Can't catch a break. All right, we beat the gold dragon, the gold brontosaur, whatever, man. <laughs> so you get uh, you get two really good items for beating them, a bunch of experience and 50 magic points, which is kind of fun. And we learned a whole mess of stuff. And we got a behemoth suit. That is something that she can wear and is the best suit in the game. Also, let's... Uh, yeah, Magus hat is the best, the best hat. All right, very good. Well, unfortunately, Nara did not get any of that, but that's okay. That's all right. Apparently, we have Excalibur. That's a pearl weapon. Uh, not the best sword in the game. It's actually not that great. It's pearl enchanted, not a big fan, but hey, we'll go with it. Yeah, we'll stick with that Genji armor. Okay, good. Very good. So we are now done with all of Edgar's checks. I think we're going to go work on all of Setzer's, because they're all clustered together pretty easy to find. He's got a free check in Kalinjin. Uh, we're actually going to go fly over there. Uh, he can search the skies, which is finding an enemy that flies around in World of Ruin. In the normal game, it's Doom Gaze. That is someone I hope that we don't see today. That would be fa that would be fantastic. Uh, also, I'm going to use a tent here because I don't want to burn another phoenix down. Apparently, if you throw a body in a tent, it comes back to life in this weird world. I don't know what's going on. And we're also going to peek another monster in a box while we're here. We're making decent progress, though. We're 48 minutes in and we're, 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 we're chipping away. But we're trying to build up the crew and get them into a spot where we have not just one killer, not just two, but at least three. Because we got to split up for KT. Telstar, not really worth it. Doesn't really do anything good. I probably could run away from this. I get a green beret for it. Okay, great. Wonderful. You got time for a quick donation? Yes, it's a perfect time for it. Oh, let's do it then. Uh, Chuckles, W73, donated $25 saying, it's always fun to watch Retrofile in this marathon. Maybe next year you can run Kid Drake, uh, Dracula, I think. Mm -hmm. Kid Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for that $25 donation. And that puts us even closer. Even closer. $104.43 away from that $4,000. Oh, well, let's get We can, get we can do that by the end of the run, chat. I believe. By the end of this run. Easy. Piece. I believe. Who's going who's gonna to finish first? Are you going to finish this randomizer? Or is chat gonna finish that four thousand? I don't know. I don't know. This, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking that I can do this before chat can, but uh, maybe they can prove me wrong. Oh, you'll see them try. <laughs> Thank you, Chuckles. Appreciate you. Uh, Kid Drac is never happening, but that's okay. <laughs> Little uh, inside joke uh, that we've we've had about it that I don't consider Kid Drac an official Castlevania game. Full stop. Even though that uh, a lot of people have said, well, clearly it is. Uh, I don't know. It's not that great. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to more important and pressing topics. Let's go ahead and, and travel this way. Okay, welcome to the humble hamlet of Kalinjin. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Apparently, Gnar is blind. That's not good. No, he's got some cool sunglasses. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see who's hanging out here. This is one of Setzer's checks, and it is progression. We got Starlet. She has some nice spells. Oh boy. <laughs> we got we have a tier three spell uh, that can be used. Very, very good. Very good. This is what we want. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll search the skies here. We'll get that out of the way now so we don't have to worry about running into something on accident uh, when we don't mean to here. And worst comes to worst, we're already saved. We're good to go. And we're gonna, we can go over to the left, go to Daryl's tomb. That's the, the second uh, check for... Oh, we found a bunch of cranes in the sky. That's cute. We'll do that. 
Now, I don't know how this is going to work, because one of them absorbs lightning and one of them absorbs fire. Let's figure out which one does. I'm going to just use ice on both of them, I think. That's probably the, the right move. Well, that one absorbed lightning. We figured that out. So normally you do fight them in the sky, but usually they surround the airship, and that's elsewhere. Where else? That's gonna be about a thousand damage during that turn. Pretty good. We gotta get a hyper wrist though. That would be very, very handy, that which ups the strength uh, of those strikes tremendously. Hey, we have Cyan, don't we? I just realized that. We have Cyan. We should go do the Nightmare at Doma. Now that I think about it, because uh, that will unlock all of the sword techs, and that's a uh, that's a good thing. So let's finish up. We'll finish up Setzer, and we'll go do the Nightmare Doma. Kind of a deep check. There's three things that you can get in there. Good for Magicite, So actually, pretty much right up uh, up our alley. What we need. So I think we'll do that. Tech barrier kind of prevents us from doing magic on the cranes because it actually it casts reflect safe and shell. I think safe and shell reduce uh, physical damage and magic damage respectively. Uh, but you can't stop a magic tech uh, shooting Moogle apparently. All right, so what do we get for our trouble? Hey, look, we found more magicite. We're making good, quick, swift progress. This is definitely not. Well, we got the Ragnarok one too, no less. Let's uh, let's go over here. And we'll explore a tomb, and then we'll go do the uh, the Doma Nightmare and make Paul's voice real good. Alright, so who do we get? Okay, so she's learned all of those already. Speed plus two. Life two and fire two. Beautiful. Uh, let's give that to you. Apparently doing... This is how you learn spells and such as we go along. Okay, cure three should be something that everybody knows, I think. It'd be very important. Actually, we're going to keep that on him for now, because that strength boost is very good. Alright, let's go into the tomb. Legends of the Hidden Temple. We have our, our Pendant of Life, so it doesn't matter if any Temple Guards stop us. So welcome to Daryl's Tomb. It's a strange spot, and this is normally in the game where you find the, uh, the airship we've been riding around in for free. Up until this point, you don't have that freedom. But, uh, nonetheless, a couple of treasure chests we can grab here. Finding so many ribbons. I may actually sell one or two of those and maybe go buy an ice shield. I really want those Merton strats. Earrings, that's always good. Flame something or other. Didn't see the end of that. Empty, that's not good. Also, the, I always want to point this out. That... These turtles here are the best boys. They're just here to help you along on your journey, and they're trying real hard. So you gotta respect the turtle. Look at them, the, the goodest boys, look at them. They just kinda guide you along, they're just here. I don't know who would design a tomb like this, but they're just kicking their little legs and trying real hard. They're living their best life. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's see. So there's another monster in a box that's here. We're going to save before we fight it, depending on what it is. Fake mustaches. All right, monster in a box here in the upper left, and we have a boss fight then. Monster box. Oh, it's all over. Do I have a revivify to just end this fight instantly? This guy can do some pretty gnarly things like cast doom and, and uh, condemn and just... I don't know. It's not good. But he does drop tiger fangs, which are very, very good uh, for selling. <laughs> Alright, so that was a flame shield. Okay, great. Uh, let's see, who can we give that to? Thunder, Minerva, Thunder. Uh, well, guess what, friends? Merton is online. Let's go bust some heads. 
Pearl Land sleeps. Oh, it's, it's so dumb. Dead, it's a dead check. <laughs> we find we find an enemy that literally absorbs fire. I knew I knew it as soon as I said it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Well, guess what? We ain't doing anything with that. The worst. Wow, Murder Child doing 4K. <laughs> Welcome to Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide, the marathon edition. Where I, ins I put my foot in my mouth. I, I'm literally, I'm, I'm my own commentator's curse. It's fantastic. That's weak sauce. Oh boy. Oh good, Nara actually absorbed that. Good. Very good. Alright, the big the big ball of fire is dead and we get a stupid lance for it that I don't like. Good use of time. Setzer's checks are now done. Let's go uh let's go to a creepy abandoned uh castle and go lay down for some reason. Oh, everybody learned all the things. Holy. You got time for a couple of quick donations? Oh, by all means, we're, we're going to go travel. All right, well, I think chat definitely heard us. Fonger's donating 1569, saying never nice. bet against chat. And uh, Drawith donating $25, saying may the only game overs be for cancer, not FF6. Good luck, <laughs> have fun, retrofile, hashtag Salsa Shack. Yay, that puts nice. Us that puts us 64, $63 and 74 cents away. Just saying. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much, Fongers and, and Drewith. Appreciate you guys very, very much. Uh, they, they heard us. We're, we're going we're gonna to get close to that 4K. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. <laughs> this check should, should put us uh, in a pretty good spot, however. Yeah, shout out to the Salsa Shack. It is a, a humble community of retro uh, enthusiasts that are out there, some runners. It's a great, cool spot. I mentioned uh, the Salsa Shack earlier when we picked up Pico de Guile, uh, but a lot of Salsa Shack folks are here hanging out with us right now, and it's, it's a good time. All right, found a robe in a, in a, in a pot somewhere. I'm gonna get a buckler, check that. Find a stone inside of the clock. All right, so this is deserted and clearly was being assaulted earlier. Let's just lay down. I'm sure nothing bad will possibly happen. Shouts to MC Escher, apparently. Uh, contrary to popular belief, he was not an MC. He never, he never did any kind of, uh, any music. <laughs> Sorry, but, um, yeah, we just grab a couple of kids here. You usually fight the Three Stooges here. Uh, Curry, Larry, Curry, Curly, Larry, and Mo. No shimp. Uh, they're the three, so welcome to Cyan's Nightmare. Oh, welcome to my nightmare. Anytime you hear those timpanis kick in, man, it's not good. It's not good. How about Merton? How about Merton? 101. Ah. There it is in all of its glory. 5.4 thousand damage. You love to see it. Good block. Currently waiting. Let's see. Let's see. Is this the killing shot? No, not good enough. We're getting there. Okay, so now he's he's his aura is shaking. I have no idea what that means, but anyway, he gets re he gets reflect. Um, he's very hard to hit unless you use things that actually always hit. So I'm gonna throw money at him. Or you can use a rod while you're at it too. Magitech don't miss. 
And apparently neither do Nar's fists. That's some good, good damage from the money. Force field will nullify an element. Which element will nullify? Wind. So that would have made Merton useless from here on out anyway. Let's see, Doom should be almost dead. We've done some pretty decent damage to him at this point. Hadouken. Yeah, the killing blow. Nice, very nice. All right, so that's one boss down. We got to do a couple other little scenes here. Uh, there's one more boss that we need to beat to get out of the nightmare. 17,000 experience, by the way. It's huge. So we, we found Doom, we found Goddess. We found Zone Seek. So where are we at right now, progression-wise? Six and seven. We need two more Espers to be in quote-unquote go mode. Zone Seek. Seek in that zone. Oh, we got Quick. Ooh. We could do some pretty gnarly things, man. Because we got that gem box kind of hanging out uh, somewhere. We, we're, we got options. This is all very exciting. All right. Good. Let's move. Routing things on the fly and kind of working through them is what makes this so exciting, and then being able to like kind of piece together builds based on what you're given. And I think that and then every seed is different in how you approach it. We're gonna skip that one entirely. Alright, welcome to uh Final Fantasy VI puzzle. We're just gonna pull this a bunch of switches, basically. And grab one of these. Wall ring we don't need. Very good. All right, let's see what this one is. Empty, of course empty. Why wouldn't it be? Also, there's a little delay that always gets me here every single time. You have to open those or close those chests in a certain amount. You learned that in the previous area. Uh, we're skipping all of this. All right, now another part of the dream. We're almost there. Almost there. Retro, if you've got a second, I got another donation. Oh, please, by all means. Okay. I have now reread this name and know I have mispronounced it probably twice now, and I'm probably going to mispronounce it again. But Physics Keybang? Probably? Uh, physics donates $63.74, saying 6374, you say? How dare you doubt us, Retro? Perhaps the fake <laughs> Merton activation. And that gets us to our four thousand dollar goal let's go let's, let's go. go thank you guys so much for the generosity and i just seen that we have increased uh our goal is now four thousand five hundred dollars so we have an entire day tomorrow as well to keep this going so that goal has been extended keep it coming everyone thank you so much for the generosity so far you guys are awesome and shouts to physics shebang Physics shebang, everybody. That's how you say it. Oh my yeah. Gosh. It's oh, a, shebang, like, it's a shebang that involves just, physics. Um, you know, oh, it's you an air force in the throne room. Oh, we did a bad thing. We did not uh, heal before coming into this fight. So that's kind of an issue. Um, okay, well, no Merton strats, but we have other things at our disposal. Let's nuke it and see what happens. Okay, that's pretty good damage. I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm, whoa, okay. Nar's taking a, a quick nap, friends. Don't worry, everything's fine. Nothing is wrong. Air Force can be kind of, kind of messy. As you're, you're seeing here, presently. Also, why is Specu like 2.6k health and everyone else is on the struggle bus? Oh, thank you, murder child. You do such good work. I had a feeling that the seed was actually gonna be pretty decent when we started off with her, and you know she had fifty plus uh, magic out of the gate. It's very nice. I think we get a free heal from this too, no less. All right, so we get two goodies for finishing this up. We get something here. I think this is lock. We get. We did. We got lock, which is noise police, who has native X magic. 
Uh, we're kind of working our way toward that seven characters now. We need Magicite. Uh, we're kind of working our way toward that KT skip, which we might get. It's very possible. We're at the hour and six minute mark right now, and we're, we're knocking at the door of go mode. Oh, and we learned all eight sword texts, so Paul's voice is now a Bushido god. It's actually what it's referred to in uh, the Japanese. Sword tech is Bushido. And we found another behemoth suit. Can anyone wear said behemoth suit? You have a red jacket. And a flame shield. Can you wear the behemoth suit? You can. You can. Well, flame sh uh, having a flame shield and a Genji or a red jacket is kind of redundant. We don't need that. All right, we're, we're pretty well loaded here at this point. We're, we're looking pretty good, for being honest. Oh, I didn't get the treasure chest in here, did I? I don't know if I did. I didn't. And it's a hyper wrist! Look, look, hey, this is this is what we do. This is what we do, folks. So, uh, Pole's boy's going to start doing some real good work real fast. If only we had an Atlas armlet to really push things further. Let's see if I have anything else I can give him that will give him vigor. Oh look! Tiger Fangs! Will give him 75 vigor. That's actually kind of nice. We're gonna go with that. Alright, Pole's boy's gonna do some work. Trust me, wait until you start seeing his damage numbers. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna be real nice. Uh, anyway, uh, speaking of, what what do we do now? We still need another Magicite yet. We could go to... We have Locke. Let's... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go to Narsh. But the World of Ruin variant of Narsh. And one other thing, too. Uh, Blitz. Do we have all the Blitzes yet? We don't. We don't. Okay. Fine. Can you break quad nines in this? You cannot. You are capped at that, but we can do a lot of damage per turn. We can do we do we can do quad nines a bunch. Vanilla. Is this even randomized? We're just petting the dog aggressively. He's okay, promise. Alright. So that's the tutorial box. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drink from this. So we have, we have Locke and our crew right now. So we're going to do two things. Number one is we're going to unlock this shop here and get some free progression. There's an old guy hanging out here. He's the last denizen. Well, save for someone else we'll go see. Uh, okay. Valiant Knife or Magus Rod? Valiant Knife VK is amazing. It does tons of damage. Uh... If, based on your, your HP, if you're in a low amount of HP. Locke can use it. Uh, pair that with an offering, which I know is for sale, uh, in World of Balance Narsh, for a pretty penny. Uh, we could make that work. Her shield five, we can turn that into a paladin shield after five fights. Uh, well, we're, we can do two of those. Paladin shield is, is the most broken item in the game. I don't know if we have five fights left in us at this point, but maybe we can make that work. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go. We're gonna go kill the dragon. I think, just to give ourselves a little extra extra cushion. Uh, we'll put the curse shield on for that, and we'll go fight Tritok and hopefully get our last magicide piece that we need. We have warp stones to get out of here pretty quickly. We have some other free checks we can do. Cyan's got one in Zozo. So, yeah, you know what? We can uncurse the shield. We can absolutely uncurse it. So who's going to be the one to do it? Narthex, you look like a person that likes to wear cursed things. How about you have that? Oh, you're probably going to want to have uh, elemental protection, though. So take that red jacket to offset things. Storm Dargan. Look, it's clearly a pterodactyl. Uh, let's, um, let's nuke it. Oh, and, uh, watch these damage numbers for Paul's voice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what you want to see. 
4,800 damage in a turn. Yeah, Sortek real good. Real good. Dragon down, that's one fight. We're four away from uh, Cursed Shield being uh, uncursed. Nar could use a little bit of TLC, however. He's, he's not looking too hot. Unfortunately, having the Cursed Shield on makes you uh, vulnerable to every element. Oh boy. Can anyone else use it? Fixed dice are pretty busted. Pole's Voice and Specchio can use it. Pole's Voice is Setzer who always can. However, I kind of want to keep the Tiger Fangs on him for the Vigor boost. So maybe we have a Gambling Moogle. Right there is what we want our offering for. Absolutely. Because why throw one set of dice when you can throw four? So maybe we, we, we go buy the offering rather than go hunt down Katana Soul and hope for the best. Polo del Fuego! We have found the fire chicken. All hail the fire chicken. 07. Let's see if we can stop him. Hey, we never actually healed Narthex. I just figured that out. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Nar is definitely big dead. Oh, he's got the- no, he has the jacket! He's got the jacket, baby! Okay, Blaster's an insta-kill. <laughs> He's not messing around, folks. Alright, group effort time. Oh, he big mad. Why are you so angry, Fire Chicken? Just calm down and try to enjoy life. It's okay. It's Saturday night. We're playing Final Fantasy VI. We're living our best lives, friends. That's what we're doing. We're having a great time. All right, so I think that Flare Star will only hit her. Yeah, that ain't gonna do nothing. It's cute. It's a pretty abysmal Cure 3. It's not the best. Not the worst. Uh, okay, apparently he's gonna retort everything we try to do here. It's fine. Do we know stop? We can stop this chicken. We don't know stop. It's fine. Everything is fine. Just watch Poles boys go to work. Nuke! Oof. <laughs> you see how he caught that with his face? That's that's raw talent. You can't teach that. All right, hey, uh, fire chickens down. So we've beaten all three statues in this run. We we beat Poltergeist, Doom, and Goddess. So they're done. We don't have to face them again. Uh, there are still some pretty nasty monsters looming. Magi Master and Doom Gaze are seeming very likely, and that I think is our last Magisite. But I'm gonna go do something else rather than run right to KT. Oh no, it's not our last. Okay, we're not done. We're one away. I have an idea. I have a plan. I have a good plan. I don't believe we did the collapsing house. So we're gonna go do that right now. And we're gonna also go buy... We're gonna go buy a uh, item from a shady guy in a back alley. 
because that's very reputable. We're going to do that. Let's do that. Oh, we forgot to get the free heal on the way out. Come on, man. We got to drink the Kool-Aid from the random bucket. All right, so there's a crumbling house, but I, we're not going to do that right away. That's not a big, a big deal to us. Who's got it? Uh, a merchant. He can hold that up for a while. 13,000, my good man. Oh, I don't have enough money. Come on. What happened? I must have threw it all away. Uh, let's uh, sell some things. Again, that house is just going to keep crumbling in the background. That's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. Uh, let's sell some stuff that we don't need. Probably going to be a lot of things, actually. Get rid of this pearl. And we have an Aura Lance. Sky renders garbage. R is pretty nice. We have an extra flame shield in here. I think we got that from uh, Polo del Fuego. All right, we're good. Go buy that random thing from that guy in the back alley here. Hey, guess what? Uh, we got our final Magicite already, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Um, but we're gonna go do the crumbling house anyway, because <clears throat> we might be able to get our, uh... Offering from there, if possible. All right, we're just gonna roll. I think we're okay with this. Pardon me, everybody. Pardon me, please. Quick donation. Yes, go ahead. All right, real quick one. Uh, Four dollars and twenty cents from Teal Tales, saying cancer has taken too much already. Thank goodness we have you in the salsa shack. Stretch gold to make him use Umaro on Kefka. Ooh. Huh? If we can, huh? if we can find Umaro. Oh, we found a katana soul though. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Do we have the ability to beat Katana Soul is the question. We don't have Muddle. That's a problem. He's definitely the one we want to fight, though. We have life two available, which is kind of nice. I just realized. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're good. I was about to say. I think this might this might murder Nar, but I'm, I think we're okay. Yeah, 7.5k damage. Oh, we're just shy of doing that again. We have ourselves an offering. Our gambling Moogle can now throw four sets of dice. It's amazing how we've kind of pivoted away from Magitek. And now we're going to go that route. And we also get 65,000 gold to shop with. Great, wonderful. I'm glad I came in here. Uh, offering. We're gonna give her the gem box, I think. He's doing good with that. Perfect, everything's great. All right, in the normal game, there would normally be a countdown timer for this whole thing, but uh, we don't have to worry about that. Just out of sheer morbid curiosity. Uh, we don't need a present, but you know what? We'll probably kill him anyway. Just, we're trying to get the, those, those extra attacks in for the... Uh, progression on the curse shield. I don't know, is fire good for this guy? I don't know, let's find out. I don't want to do that. That could be bad. Okay, considering that did 8.7k, I think fire is going to be okay for that guy. I'm looking for a message at the top though, that we've dispelled the curse. Okay, we have not. I think we're one fight away.
Oh, hey, let's grab that really fast. Sure, why not? All right, so what do we get for, for saving a random kid from a crumbling house? Yeah, we're getting ready to, to roll those fixed dice. Their fixed dice never miss. Uh, they don't care about defense. They do stacks and stacks of damage if they roll well. And we get to roll four of them per turn, so it's going to be very nice. Odin. Okay, I think we need to go camp outside. Odin, what do you give us? Nothing good, apparently. Uh, we have a whole bunch of spending cash presently. We picked up an Atma weapon also. Which is kind of fun. We have that Valiant Knife. I haven't checked to see if anyone can use that yet. We just have so many options. There's cheap ice rods there. You know what? Let's buy them just in case. Because we just have so much money to work with right now, it's it's not that really big of a deal. Alright, very good. All these things are good. Alright, let's go ahead outside. We're gonna go have a quick camp, and I think we're basically gonna roll with it at this point. I don't know how close I am to getting KT skip, so I think we're just probably just gonna go. 710, you would need 12 espers. I tell you what, I tell you what, we have a free check we can do for... Okay, here's the thought. We have a free check we can do... ...for Cyan, and we can kill a dragon along the way here, too. And you know what? For the for the fans, we're going to check. We're going to check the chainsaw chest. It's only one chest. You put a time in the clock. 6, 10, 50. I have had a long drought of not finding anything good at all. Will today be the day? No. <laughs> just, just a crappy ring that nobody uses to care about. The streak continues. I was hoping that maybe we'd have some marathon luck. It'd be an Illumina or a Ragnarok or something really hype. Uh, but no, not the case. Just a, a piddly ring, a ring you can find pretty much anywhere. All right, so I don't know how this architecture works. How does an apartment open up into an entire mountain? If someone could explain that mystery to me, I would be really appreciative. But in the meantime, we're going to work our way through. Uh, there's a dragon for us to kill in here. We got Dragoon Boots, that's cool. So let's go do that. Found a chainsaw randomly. <laughs> we're making good time here. We're at 125 now. We're already in go mode, but I'm trying to get that KT skip because we're pretty close. And we got found another red jacket. This is just basically just trying to set everything up for, for Merton. If only we found a, an economizer to drop down the uh, magic cost. But I think she knows Osmos, which allows us to, to leech mana. Okay, we're going to open this. We're going to fight this Dargan. Save really fast. All right, come at me. Thanks. Jump scare. Ooh, Dirt Dargan's kind of a problem. He's not great. Also, apparently I forgot to do a 10th event, so I think we're kind of weak. I'm glad I saved when I did. Um, hmm. Well. Poor planning is poor planning, right? Oh, we got dice. We got dice. Who needs stuff? We got dice. Oh, apparently Murder Child's dead. We need her alive, though. Heck. 
Well, okay. I see you, Dirt Dragon. Well, look at the, look at the, the Moogle go. 4.2. Good block. Yeah, I want her to be alive for this, please and thank you. Nara's sleeping on the job, though, unfortunately. He's had a hard day. We also need him alive, too, now that I think about it. Do you know life, too? I think everybody should know life, too. This is a missed opportunity. Okay, sword tech, let's do the thing. And throw some money at it while we're at it, too. Why, why, why not? Let's do that. Let's have a good time. 6,400 in a turn. You love to see it. Still no crack boom joy. Come on, man. There you go. <laughs> Just throw a couple of nickels at him. We're good. Also, Dirt Dragon, definitely a T-Rex. Ain't fooling nobody. Do we have dispelled the curse on the shield? Shield is now busted good. In fact, we're gonna protect, uh, we're gonna protect Murder Child with said shield. So I'll give Paladin, you can take the flame shield. You can have a thunder shield. You got that red jacket anyway. You can have the better lance while we're at it. We're pretty stacked in the, uh, the equipment department right now, now that I'm looking at this. It's pretty good. All right, let's finish up this check. I think we're, we're almost full go mode. If this is an, a Magisite, we're going to try to get one more because we can get that KT skip. If it's an item, we're just going to go do KT. It's a Magisite. Okay, so let's think here. What would be the fastest way for me to get a Magisite? Uh, I think we're gonna go to Jador. We're gonna go to Alder's house. If that doesn't work, we can we can double back and try our hand at the auction house once. And if that doesn't work, then I'm just gonna get fed up and go. <laughs> but I wanted to dispel that curse, and we did. So kind of important. But we're close. And that's a really important Esper, too. That gives us protection for much, much later. I'll explain it when we get there. Uh, that's very important, though, I promise. Warp Stone, take us away. Perfect. All right, Jador's right here. We're going to go do that. And we're going to hope that we, we, we made a good play here. It's a pretty fast check. We're gonna sit- we're gonna tent here, so we actually have Murder Child with, you know, things to murder with. Hope everyone's enjoying the run so far. This has been- this has been very nice. I'm gonna try to push and maybe get a sub two? Maybe? Uh, again, <laughs> estimates three hours and fifteen minutes for a reason, but we'll- we'll see. All right, spooky house. Turn the lights on like you're watching a horror movie by yourself. What a lovely photo. Trying to attach, attack me. That is definitely not what I expected. The Narsh battle. It's cute. Wow, why did that do so much damage? Why is he getting destroyed? So that's some, some very, very big damage. Also, I love Merton. It's so bad. Alright. Let's see. Into the spooky basement of the spooky house. Nope. Soul Saber. Got there in time before the door went away. It's a nice feeling. Oh, 
Treasure chest floating in the air, perfectly normal. It's just like everyone else's uh, basement. Uh, when in doubt, nuke it out. What a good meltdown. Or Merton. <laughs> this has been fun. I've been having fun with this. This is a fun seed. The struggle bus has been fairly absent. The only thing that could really give me a problem right now would be Magic Master or possibly uh, Doom Gaze. Please don't be either of those. Oh, tentacles. Tentacle game. All right, so Merton. Merton. That guy in the corner is going to be a problem, but we'll, we'll get rid of it. Oh, that's totally a wrong input. Well, we're doing quad nines now. Oh, that was a, a dumb cast. <laughs> Definitely not needed. So Merton is actually pretty broken. It's very, very fast to execute. If you're built for it in, su in such a way, you can actually gain health uh, from it. So it becomes a very, very powerful uh, healing spell also on top of everything. Throw money at it. Um, which is pretty gnarly. And it's, it's just, it's... Uh, one thing I should point out, in this race seed, you can't learn Ultima. That's why we don't have that. Even the Paladin Shield will not teach Ultima, because basically that's the pre the Ultima is the strongest spell in the game. It ignores magic defense, hits everything, uh, non-elemental, so you don't have to learn about anything. It's just basically the push the button to win. <clears throat> and guess what? KT skip. Skip? Skip. <laughs> Unlocked, baby. you love to see it. So that was the right play. Pardon me, sir. Thank you. Why am I buying this? I don't think anyone has tools. It's a weird compulsion. Oh, we don't have a lot of softs. We're gonna need those just in case. All right, let's go. Go mode, baby. It is time. Oh, this is the moment. That's the one I, I should have found. Okay, experience egg coming off the... Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give her the experience egg. Actually, we're gonna take the gem box away real quick. We're gonna give her earrings. Hero ring might be the move for him. Uh, what are we at here? Hero ring? Yes, yes, please. All right, good. Good, good, good. I think we're ready to go. Go mode, baby. Let's do it. And we got the skip. So what does the skip entail? We go right to the statues section. Now we need to we need to get ourselves together. We got we got a couple of killers. Murder child should be able to handle herself. All right, we'll fill out the groups accordingly. So sadly, we did not find our yeti friend. Also, thank you, Teal, for the donation, by the way. It's always nice to... I, 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 my apologies for not, for not thank you earlier, but... Uh, we're in there. All right, let's see. Good. All right, so we have four bosses to fight before the final climb. We basically skipped the entire dungeon by, by getting that extra piece of Magisite. Uh, wasn't too bad, really. We have found Altros, Uncle Alti, our, our good octopus friend. He's about to have a very, very bad day. One and done, baby. 10,000 damage in a turn and 12,000 experience for Paul's voice, Setzer. The Bushido God. 
One down, four to go. Or one down, three to go, rather. Do we have sleeping bags? I think we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, golem's important. We're gonna grab that. Okay. One team is done. Next up. Got two bosses to fight with this team in the middle. Dullahan. Opening with Pearl. Uh, Noise Police is dead in one hit. Alright, well, now that the Runiker is dead, we're gonna Merton. Quad nines, uh, you love to see it. Fire three is a little cheaper. <laughs> yeah, love to see these damage numbers. We love big numbers. We don't like that ice rabbit though. He should be dead after this turn. Yeah. <laughs> Two down, two to go. All right, marching on up. Let's see. The last chest in the entire game. It's nothing good. We didn't put the Mogul Charm on, and we got this far. Fine, whatever. We're just gonna nuke our entire party. Out of frustration. <laughs> and that's what Merton does, if you're not prepared for it. I believe in her. Ooh, she doesn't have a ribbon. I, I need to kill them immediately because they will Delta hit. That's a problem. Well, that's unfortunate. We're probably gonna die here. Because two of them absorb things, so let's let's do this. We may have to reset and put on a ribbon because they're going to do something called Delta Hit, which will stone somebody. And if we have one person left that gets stoned, it's uh, treated as a game over. Here's the Delta Hit. We're going to hope it goes to Noise Police. Will Will Noise Police get stoned? No. <laughs> For the first time ever. <laughs> Oh, please go, don't hit, noise, please. Live! Ah! <laughs> All right, that, that is easily fixable. Thankfully. So, we can mitigate all of that. Uh, we're gonna take the experience egg off, and all truth, we'll just put the ribbon on, it's fine. That should basically get rid of any problem that we have. Oh, yeah, you know what? We should put on a uh, Google Charm, though, while we're at it. That would be kind of important. We also probably should equip them. I guess that kind of goes a long way, huh? Uh, this game over brought to you by Game Over Cancer Spring 2023, folks. Please, exclamation point D, get that donation in. 
We appreciate all the, the love and generosity up to this point. Thank you guys very, very much. But don't forget, more action tomorrow as well, too, no less. It doesn't end here. Okay, so it's fire up top, yes? Maybe Merton's not the move. And we do ice. Oh, look at you doing things. That's cute. All right, that's gonna be a death counter. Yep. All right, good. Delta hit is no longer a problem, and now we can start picking them away. I believe he's the ice guy in the back. We'll get rid of him very quickly. <laughs> that is very satisfying. Yeah, this is this should be easy peasy. Fantastic. All right, good. We're gonna leave the ribbon on her for the final fight because I don't want to deal with some stuff. She'll do plenty of damage, so as it is, I think. All right, one to go before the final climb. And if you've not seen the last boss for Final Fantasy VI, it's a doozy because it's basically. Well, I won't spoil it. You know, they can just stay dead. It's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing's wrong. Uh, we'll give her a raid in, I think. Going to that fight. Uh, so that appears in Cyan's Nightmare. That was- that's the Three Stooges right there. We saw them- I, I mentioned them a little earlier on. Okay, Moogle Charm. Pico de Guile. Alright, Specchio, the dice rolling Moogle. Uh, with Magitech capabilities. I bet you it's gonna be Magimaster or Doomgaze. No, this one's not, that's not awful. It's not awful. We can work with this. Now we could roll better though, Specchio. Please, please Mog. That's fun. But we have to hit the body, not the arms. <laughs> There we go, that's it, that's it, good damage. 7k is a beautiful thing. Crack boom, okay, we are ready. We are ready. So once everyone's on all three switches, then we begin the final run, which is extremely stressful no matter how prepared you are for it. I don't believe anyone has Mute, so that's going to be a problem. And we don't have Siren. Someone has Golem already, which is good. It'll grab Zone Seek while I'm at it. Alright, let's do it. I think, I think we're ready. Just sleeping bag it up. Last save of the game. And away we go, friends. Here we go. So the way this works is there are four tiers. We climb our way up. That's why it's called the, the climb. It's actually the statue of the gods. And effectively, it is a gauntlet of ten bosses. There are three on the first tier, four on the second tier, two on the third tier, and one final Kefka at the very, very top. 
So, and they all have their own individual strategies, things that they do. There's a lot to keep in mind. A lot of stressful moments. Uh, we will see how things work out here with this. We've got a lot of damage capability, which is awesome. We'll see how things go. For those that are doing timing, uh, I'll point it out though, but once we see the, the screen flash on Final Kefka, that's when the, the time is up, but it'll be a little bit till we get there. All right, so the crew is gonna be Murder Child, Edgar, Pole's Voice, Mog. That's our top three. And then we'll just do that. Here we go. Also, get out all of your jam emotes. All right, this is Demon. We're gonna kill the face for our la or <laughs> We wanna kill the face, not last. We just took care of the long arm, now there's just the short arm and his face. His face is weak to fire. Murder Child will do lots of work here for us. Yeah, lots of work, like I said. Okay, slip hit. Okay, two things down in the first tier. Throw some dice at it. All that's left is short arm, the arm in the back here. Nice 10k damage. First tier's done. On to tier two, four things. There's a guy in the back, his name is Magic. He's a jerk, he's gonna do a lot of work. Here's a tiger, there's a purple guy in a Speedo, and there's a bunch of machine parts. Machine parts guy is gonna be taken down by Pole's voice, who's gonna do the uh, the anime run forward and slash everything. That's sword tech number eight, Cleave, will be an insta-kill. Uh, then we have to deal with Magic volleying us for the entire time. Tiger does a bunch of stupid stuff. It ain't great. All right, tools should be dead after that. I don't think anyone knows mutes. We don't. Let's see how Ice Beam, how much that does. This is like full concentration mode for me, going through this, because it's always a little scary. Because if, if someone dies and you transition to a higher tier, they're gone for the entire fight. You, you lose them. And we want to try to maintain as much as we can here. Especially our main damage dealers. Specchio is very happy with throwing dice at the ones in the front. Haste is no bueno, not a fan of that.
All right, Tiger is dead. I'm gonna be mindful of this. We're gonna wait and see. Quad nines. Uh oh, uh oh. I got quiet there because that's big scary. We're gonna be transitioning into the, into the next uh, tier really weak. Oh boy. <laughs> well, welcome to the, the final climb, friends. Pop Fan Six Worlds Clyde bearing its teeth. Mistakes were made. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, they're probably open with Merton. If they do, that would be very good. Please, please, please help heal some of us. We have, we got Cure 3 in our pocket. Thank you. That's a big help. That's a big help. Okay, we don't have any, so we need to, to kill the, the girl at the top there. She absorbs all magic. So we need to do non-elemental magic damage to her, but we don't really have anything, do we? We got money! And we got dice! Alright, here we go. She has 10,000 health, the one in the front has 40,000. I want to keep track of both. Girl should be dead. Okay, girl is dead. It's about 10,000 damage to the front. He starts doing really dumb things around 10,000 health left. We're gonna get ready for this now. Oh, no! Okay. We have the ability to, fi to fix this. We do. Because Murder Child is really strong. Please roll high. Perfect. Hey, that was played perfectly. Golem. Okay. So calmness is an instant kill attack that happens as a death counter from the guy that's sleeping in the front there. It is a physical attack. We used Golem, which was the that Esper we did there. He put the he put the he, he's like he's like uh, uh, Dikembe Mutombo. He just says no 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 not today and blocks the calmness. And he can do that up to two times and he can just basically just shred you. So you can be going into Final Kefka uh, in a pretty dire straits. But that was actually really clean. Uh, we don't have a Mega Elixir, but we got Murder Child who could definitely heal everybody back up. So we'll keep that in mind. All right, here we go. Final Kefka. Time is when, uh, well, when, when we win. <laughs> if we win. Roll them dice. We're going full ham. We're gonna wait though, we're gonna wait here. 
There it is. Okay. Oh, please don't counter. Please don't counter. Now we have free reign before Goner goes off. We should get this. Sub two? Sub two? Can we do it? Come on, baby. Gotta roll high. Gotta roll high. That should be enough. We did it, baby. Crack boom. It's over. What a run. <laughs> what a run. The sub two. Oh, thank you for the GG's, everybody. Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide Randomizer that was Ultros League settings Just to give you guys some perspective Some of the best runners that are out there Can basically consistently do this uh, This flag set in under 130 120 Sometimes 110 On <laughs> how things work out So there's a, there's a very very high skill ceiling for this game But I appreciate it Thank you very very much everyone Again uh, this is Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. Check it out, ff6worldscollide.com. Join the Discord, get involved. Always something going on. I'm Retrofile TV, And uh, yeah, that was Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. Great randomizer. That was a fun seed. And uh, appreciate everyone that uh, donated here. Again, exclamation point D. You want to get those donations in. More action coming at you tomorrow on Game Over Cancer. Not sure if we're going to be doing anything else here this evening, but uh, I'm very pleased with that run. Very good. Thanks, guys. Absolutely amazing, Retrofile. Thank you so much again. Let's hear it. Let's, let's get some more GGs and hype for Retrofile. That was an insane, an insane showcase of this game. Under two hours for Final Fantasy VI. That is crazy. Uh, once again, everyone, thank you so very much for hanging out today. Uh, Mount Krios, thank you so much for that $5. Uh, here's $5 you can go forward and buy yourself a Phantom Train to suplex next time. So you know what you have to do next time, Retro. And everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. That is going to be it for uh, Game Over Cancer today. A uh, reminder that we are continuing the marathon tomorrow. Uh, the stream will be starting at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you set your clocks. Be here early. We're going to be starting off the day with uh, Shattered Hand run by Ahmad. So you guys make sure that you're here for that. Uh, my name is Jao Bagel, and on behalf of the whole team behind Game Over Cancer, I want to thank you all for being here today and for breaking that $4,000 uh, goal today. I'll be extending that to that $4,500, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone.